Hi friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we are learning a web form concepts in a Drupal 10 version. So till now, we have seen the topics from the section 1 to till section 8. So in this video, we will be seeing the section 9 concept that is how to create a node of a web form. So this is so simple. So let's just open our Drupal site first. So here I will just open my Chrome and you can see I have already opened my Drupal website with the admin username. So just let's create a node for a web form here. Just click on a content and you will just get an option so called add content. So just click on it and here you will see it will show the list of options that is a content type article content type basic page content type and web form content type. So here we are creating a node for a web form right. So just click on this web form then it will just open the interface something like this here you just provide a title for this so i will just give it as an inquiry only why because i have just created a web form with the name of inquiry and here if you want you can just provide a body or you can just skip it why because this element is not necessary so i will just provide some random content in the body section that created a node for a web form something like this and coming to here uh, one option we have drop down off, drop down option that is the web form so under this like we can select uh, any of the web forms so uh, in our previous video we have created an inquiry web form right so i will just select that and under that we have a web form settings as well where the status uh, we can just check it out open closed schedule so it applies to only this web form instance and here one more option we have so called a uh, default submission data where we can just paste in the form of yaml extension and access group so this is an optional not needed now so i will just close it and just let's go to the right side part so here you can see menu settings so this node we can just provide a menu link as well so i will just check in this and here we can just provide a description as well so whenever we hover on that menu we will just get some description what we will enter here so i will just provide some description here saying that this is an uh, let's say the inquiry this is an inquiry thing something like this i will just give it and next it's telling the uh, weight so weight in the sense it is an indexing part so just let me show you in the new tab so here you can see uh, menus which uh, I have placed in the order, right? So in the first place, home is there, second place, about is, is there, right? So here what will happen, the count will start from the zero. So in the zeroth position, home, about us is in the first position, services is in the second position and contact us is in the third. So zero, one, two, three. And then one more menu which will come, that should be in the fourth position, right? So that is what the weight is about. So I will just give it here as a four. And the next is URL alias. So here if we want uh, instead of node counts, we can just provide our uh, URL as well. Custom URLs. So I'll just give it as a slash inquiry. And the next is about the authoring information. So this is nothing but uh, it will just show who have just published this content, something like that. And the next is a promotion options. So here, if we want, we can just promote this node content to a front page or we can just make it as a sticky at top of the list. So this way I have already explained in, our, in, our, in, in my previous video. So if you want, you can just do it. As of now, I won't touch that part and I will just save it. So after saving here, you can see one inquiry menu is just been added next to the contact us, right? So I will just click on it. And here you can see this URL uh, slug also been changed as a inquiry here instead of a node. And this is something a uh, body section of our uh, node that is i have given as a created a node for web form right so that is this part so here we you can see we have successfully added a node for a web forms so that's it for this video thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video then please subscribe this channel see you soon in the next video